Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, let's talk about making a comfortable camp chair using a pair of pants, three sticks, and no cordage. Stay tuned. So to make this project work, one of the things we're gonna to have to do is we need to harvest some small um, sticks, about oh, five to six feet tall. So a couple of meters for those of you that live in countries where they use the metric system. And uh, I've got a lot of very small, very thin poles throughout this part of our, our woods here in southern Ohio. And so, again, they grow very thick. It's a good idea to thin them out from time to time. And so I'm just going to select down through here uh, the poles that I want. I'm going to need two that are roughly my height. So, you know, like about six foot, a couple of meters. And then uh, also I'm going to need another one that is approximately uh, four feet long or about a meter and a half. So let's get started with that. All right, so the important thing is that each one has to have a Y at the top. And these are a little taller than I am. Actually, they're more in the uh, full two meter range or roughly seven feet. But uh, this is what we're looking for for our two main ones. And I was fortunate enough to find a tree that is thick enough. And uh, again, we're looking for something about Oh, an inch, inch and a half diameter up to two inches. And out of the same tree, I was able to get both of these. So obviously this one was connected like this. So that was a really good find. And you want to try to conserve, even though I've got a lot of these type of trees around here. I mean, there's hundreds, perhaps thousands of these right here in this area. But obviously if you do this a lot, you're going to deforest your area. So uh, always think conservation. Now. When you're making a chair like this, you do want to use green wood because you could probably use, uh, you know, cured out, dried out wood, but the possibility exists for not being enough flexibility and it could, uh, you know, let you down. So we wouldn't want that. All right, now we've got to find another stick that it says about four feet long and I'm going to cut it a little bit longer uh, than necessary uh, just so I can have the option of trimming it down if I need to. Okay, and here we have the next stick. And it's important that this is fairly straight. Now, I didn't measure this exactly. Just standing up, roughly chest height. And uh, that's a little bit more than four feet. But like I said, I wanna make sure that it's sufficient and also of a good diameter and weight to hold me. Now we need to find a place to set up our chair. So the next thing that we wanna do, we've got our poles here, our Y branches. And we've got this nice maple tree here. And oh, I suppose it's four or five inches in diameter. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put one pole this way and then the other one just like this. And so what we're doing is we're using this tree as our, the third part of our, of our tripod, as it were. And as I put this tripod together, I'm making sure that the largest part of the Y is here to the front so that it gives us the stability that we need for hanging our pants on. And so I did trim these down. They are now roughly just a little bit taller than I am. So put this right here, get an idea what that looks like. All right, for the next phase of the operation, we've got a lot of little things sticking out here, little twigs and growths and all sorts of unevenness. So what we just want to do is we take the knife out and we want to shave all of this stuff down and get all of these rough places off of there because that's going to kind of hinder the movement of uh, attaching our pants to it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and shave all of these off 
and I'll get back with you when we get it done and show you the next phase. So we've got our stick all smoothed down. You can see here, cut quite a bit of the bark off of it, but that won't hurt anything. And I did slightly taper the end here, just a little bit uh, to help it fit better. All right, next we take our pants, set this down here for just a moment, and we want to go ahead and button and zip up the fly. Now these pants are Rail Rider pants. Uh, these are mine. I've had these for quite a few years. I do not sell these and these were not given to me by the company. I bought these at full price. But they're some of the toughest plants on the pants on the planet. Uh, they are pretty much 100% uh, nylon and they have kind of large uh, loops in here as you can see larger than standard. The only standard size loop is the one in the exact center in the back. And uh, that, that's going to help us a lot, but you could use just uh, regular tactical pants. It also has some elastic in it for adjustability, and uh, these are excellent, excellent pants. And so what I want to do is I'm using these belt loops, and I'm using the stick. And so using this side in the front, I'm going to start on what would be my right. And I'm just going to take the stick, the smaller end, and you want to make sure this is about as big as your thumb, roughly and uh, again about four, four and a half feet long. I'm going to put the first one through the belt loop. We're just going to run it down through here. I'm going to put this in like this and then we're not going to go to the next belt loop on, on that follows which would be back here. We're going to go to the front and we're going to take the front loop so the two front loops on the front go first. So the button's here in the middle and we go to the other loop and we just open that up and we slide it on. It's like this, okay? Then we alternate and we come back to the side here, the other large loop, and we slide it on. Keep pushing this down, and then we come to the center loop in the back. We're gonna go ahead and use it next. And then we come to the very last loop, which is this one right here. And we're just gonna go ahead and stick it on there, and slide it on the stick just like we did the other ones. And we keep pushing this stuff down here, keep sliding this down until we can get this on here. There we go. Now we have our pants and there's only five loops but they're all fastened onto the stick and then all we do is we just work and we slide this down just like this until we get it to the approximate center of the stick wherever we want it and then we make sure that it's spread out sufficiently so it hangs like that. So we're not using any cordage, we're not wrapping it around the stick, we're just literally using the belt loops of the pants. Now for the other side, uh, these actually have Velcro closures on the bottom and of course to tighten around your boots. We're just going to do a simple overhand knot. And you want to do this as small as possible because we want as much of the length as we can get. So we're going to do this just enough to tie a good overhand knot. And uh, nothing simple, doesn't have to be a square knot. And then we're going to pull this tight from this end, and we'll pull tight from this end, like this. Alright, so there we have our knot. Alright, and so that's what we have right there. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this knot, and we're going to slide it over top of that largest stick that we have leaning against the tree. So we just literally take this, go over top, lift it up a little bit so it slides down, Make sure it's firmly around the tree. And we let the stick rest down at the bottom. And with the stick resting at the bottom, we don't have to lash it in. We're about halfway across there. Make sure this is spread out good. And now we have our chair. And it's actually pretty comfortable. We sit on here and enjoy the campfire or just a place to rest or if you're out hunting, and uh, you want to, uh, you know, have a good place to sit down. It's pretty comfortable. It holds quite a bit of weight. And uh, it's also a good idea just to uh, keep you up off the ground. And, of course, Spirit's coming along here to uh, investigate. What do you think, old buddy, huh? You good? <laughs> I think he's been down drinking in the creek. And so... The spirit being in the way there. Come on, buddy. Let's move. Good job. Thank you. You can get an idea of what this looks like. 
And again, just simply our sticks, our fork sticks around the tree, and then our cross piece in our pants. And we have a very comfortable seat using three sticks, no cordage. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. Please like, share, and subscribe. Check the link in the description box below about our classes, as well as a place to get these Rail Rider pants. I'll put a link to that. And make sure and press the bell button to stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.